Welcome back to another video, and in this one we talk about why this ship is a must build in Starfield. So not too long ago I did a video called The Only Ship You'll Ever Need, and there was one major criticism with that video, the cargo space. And I thought to myself, I can do a better job, so I went and built a new ship. Now this ship is going to cost you a whopping 480k, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, depending on the weapons and stuff you go for and also what perks you have such as commerce making things cheaper. So here are the ship stats. So for a whopping 480k you're going to get your money's worth. She's got a decent shield value of 2560 and a humongous cargo space of 8547. Not to mention she's armed to the teeth with some insane grade C weaponry. This was originally going to be my dropship video that I spoke about in the past but I decided to rebuild the ship completely. So I drew inspiration from the dropship from Aliens, the Pelican from Halo, and the dropship from the Netflix series Love, Death and Robots, Lucky 13. And I think I've done an alright job. <laughs> so the goal was simple, build a military style dropship with everything that you could ever need, including a ton of cargo space. So let me know in the comments, do you think I've achieved that? Okay, so let's get started. This is the cockpit we're going to use, you can buy this from the Soul System. And we're going to put a 3 by 3 massive cargo hab down and we'll put the landing uh, landing bay as well as some cargo. So the goal with this ship really was to build the ultimate ship. It's not, an, it's not a starter ship, it's not an early game ship, this is mid to late. But the last ship I did where uh, you know, I said that it would be the only ship you'll need, a lot of people complained that there weren't enough cargo space, which is fair enough. So this is, this is to rectify that. You know, this thing is going to be armed to the teeth. It's going to have all the cargo storage you're going to need. It's just going to have everything. But the goal when building it, because it's kind of like a dropship. This is what I was on about the other day when I said I'm going to make a dropship video. The goal with this is to build a big ship that looks aggressive, looks good, has everything you need, but isn't a maze or a mess. So there's going to be a lot of habs, but it's not going to be too hard to navigate. But that was the goal with the ship. And I want to state now as well, if you're seeing different prices... That's because I've got the commerce perk, so I'll get things a little bit cheaper. And if you're wondering how I'm getting all this stuff on one ship, I did explain in the uh, in my pinned comment in the last video. So basically, you build a ship, any ship you want, fly to a shipyard, put the stuff from that shipyard you want on said ship, go to the next shipyard, do it the same again, next shipyard, do the same again, keep adding all the bits you want, and then go to whichever shipyard you want to you know, build out, whether it's New Atlantis or your outpost, take the parts off and then you can start again with all the parts in your inventory basically sweet right now to add some more habs like i said it's gonna look like it's gonna be a maze but it's not gonna be a maze at all it's um quite easy to navigate you're gonna get an interior tour as well later on in the in the video so we'll put three habs here again go with what you need on the ship i pretty much build everything that i need workstation science lab living quarters all that kind of stuff and then at the top here, we're going to put some 2 by 2s a battle station and a computer room. I think they look really, really, really cool. And then to the side of that, we'll put some more 2 by one habs. But up here at the top, we're going to put some storerooms at the end, just to kind of add some dead ends and break it up a bit. That's looking good so far. Let's add some more. Maybe even put in an engineering bay. We'll add the workstation for now. Definitely going to have an engineering bay, I think. Yeah, let's go with the 2x2 two two engineering bay. They look really cool. You'll see it in the in the interior tour. So yeah, now we just add some dead ends. So go for the storerooms. There will be a ladder in this build, and it will go up one floor. Okay, there's going to be like one ladder. Okay, so this is the final level. Some more 2x1 habs. So we're going to put a captain's quarters, I think, maybe some more living quarters, and that's it. Sorted. This is as high as we're going to go with the habs. And like I said, the storerooms will have a ladder going up and a ladder going down. Sorted. And there is stairs in this build with the cockpit. You will see it. But this is it. That is the shape. That's how high we're going. And again, it will be easy to navigate. Right, you know what time it is. It's wing time. So... I just want to say, use this as a template. You can copy the ship straight up if you want, but if you want different wings and stuff, obviously add your own flair to your ship. Put those there. And we'll copy 
copy it across. Still not sure about that end part. Might change that. Okay, time for the landing gear. So just to state, there's six landing gear in total that we're going to be building. And I need to actually thank one of my viewers, uh, Nerd Outreach Program. So he said in the comments that there's a hab that you can buy and it's like, a, I can't remember its name, let me find it. And it's basically like a little connection way that doesn't take up too much room and it looks quite smart. So I went and got it and uh, yeah, that's it, the Hope Tech Hab Cross. So I went and got it and tried it on some ships and lifesaver. So honestly, can't thank this guy enough. Absolute lifesaver. So we're going to stagger the landing gear now without using like a full on hab and it looking too bulky and a mess. Basically, it just looks so much cleaner like that. But I like I like staggered uh, landing gear. So the last two landing gears we're going to use, we'll use smaller ones. The um, these ones here, I was going to call them a Dimos one then. So six in total, that's enough to get this beast up. And also just to state, we use every single piece in this build. Like it hits the max module while staying within the uh, the budget and the size, obviously. But we hit the, uh, the module budget. So there are things that you can take off that you don't like if you want to add like more weapons. So like bits like this, the bumper I've just put down. You can take these off. You don't have to have them. Um, even the Nova braking engines, it's more for aesthetic. I like that aggressive look, but you can take certain things off if you want to add like your own flair or more bits, especially weapons. But there we go. She is looking cool now. Looking, looking good. Right, so up top, some Dimos holes. Then we're going to use a Stroud braking engine because the Stroud braking engine is quite long compared to the uh, the Nova braking engine. I think it's called the Nova Breaking Engine, I'm not sure. And, um, oh, sorry, the Dimos Breaking Engine. So this one's quite long. The Dimos is, is nowhere near as big, so it comes right up to the cockpit, and it, it just looks a lot better, in my opinion. She is taking shape now. Good. Right, so at the top here, we're going to put our shield. I'll go for the Assurance, just because it gives uh, 1,600 shield. So at the side here, we'll add some Stroud engine braces. Just don't want to use Habs. Habs make it look way too bulky. Looks like a, looks like a beetle or something, the shape. Right, so at the back here, we're going to add some Dimos cowlins. This is going to make the back end not look as blocky. And we'll put our reactors and grav drives and fuel down here. But um, that's a problem in this game for me, is that... You can do the front and the sides really well, but you're not, I wouldn't say limited. Limited is probably the wrong word, but you can't do too much to the back. Like you can't make it look as cool because a lot of the pieces that make the front and the sides look cool, you can't rotate half of them. So yeah, it is what it is, but I'll make it look uh, a bit tidier. So we'll put some Dimos bellies and then we'll put some of those, um, I forget the name, like I think they're called like, uh, not portholes. I think they're done by Stroud. We'll find it in a minute. Hope Tech. Might be Hope Tech. And uh, we'll put those to kind of cover the uh, reactor and the grav drive and the fuel. And then at the sides, you can add some more bumpers so we can extend the side wings. Again, your choice. If you want to have a, you know more weapons and stuff, don't, don't add these bits in. Take them out. Yeah, I think we'll move these around. go yeah looking spot on do the same this side that up copy this across add the bumpers they may be there we go again just breaking the uh the shape of the back up a bit make it look less blocky there it is the hope tech nose that's what i was yapping on about earlier so the hope tech nose and i know that there's a cargo um storage you can put on that looks similar to this as well it's quite small again just, just back in some shape there it is the ballast cargo all right she's looking good right we're at the top now so what we're going to do is put a dimos hole and then we're going to put a stroud wing down give that um front end some aggressiveness and just basically make the silhouette look a lot better so add those and then we'll get the stroud up Oh, yeah. 
go. The Stroud nose cap, so we'll add two of them. Sweet. And then from here, what we're going to do is build up because we're going to start building the wings, essentially. So first things first, let's add some spines. Across. Add one here as well, central spine. Going for that uh, sleek shape. Again, like I said earlier, you can get rid of it. You don't have to have it. So then from here, we're going to build an engine bracer, the, the Nova engine bracer. There we go. Oh, engine struts, not engine bracer. Sorry. And this is going to build the uh, the top wings, basically. Now, at the back here, there was a thing I saw. That's it, Hope Tech. I was going to say I saw this earlier, just for the aesthetics. Break up the back a bit. And that's the back pretty much complete at this point. So it's looking good now. It's looking good. Right. Now we're going to build the wings. So let's add an engine bracer and then we'll add the uh, the hab walkway or the cross. Do this both sides. This is where the engines are going to be. Right, engine time. So we're going to use the Nova and then at the front of this we're going to use the uh, the Tayo um, at the front. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So we'll put those there on the engine struts that we put uh, or the engine bracer that we put down earlier. So just to make, again, this is cosmetic, just to make the engine look better, we'll add the uh, the Tayo part. There it is, the Tayo braking engine. So it just, it just makes the engines look so much better, cosmetically. And then on the other Stroud engine brace, we're going to add a White Dwarf, because it's at an angle, this engine, when you build it on the uh, on the um, strut brace. So we'll put a Dimos hull here, so it looks like it's holding it in place. Because we're going to add more to it. We're going to add the uh, Stroud nose cap. As well as a Novatech engine breaker. Where's the one? There you go. See, like it's at an angle. Just looks so cool. Really like the look of this engine. So, copy the Dimos hull across. And then it's time to add the Stroud nose cap. Add it to the side here. go copy this one across and then we're going to add some more parts to bulk these wings out basically a couple of Novatech parts a couple of more Stroud parts right so underneath here we're going to add the Stroud cap and we're going to add the Novatech braking engine just to bulk the wings out a bit more Put that in there come on people keep telling me as well use R and F to uh when you've got it selected to bring it up. I do. I do all the time. It just still refuses to snap. Copy these across now. Tech engine. Come on. There we go. See how it just makes the profile look a bit more aggressive and better than just like there's a Dimos hole and the wings are attached to it. It just adds a bit more flavor. So on the Dimos hole, what we're going to add now is a weapon mount. Again, just hiding that Dimos hole giving the profile a better look, better silhouette, and just breaking the shape up a bit. Because what you don't want to do is just have habs and hulls like all over the place, <laughs> just looking like blocky, blocky Lego ships. Right, so at the back here, we're going to fake some engines. We're going to make it look like we've got more engines than we actually do. So we'll add the Nova Cowl in. So this is going to be the, the uh, top wings. And then we're going to add a few cosmetics as well. So what we'll do here is we'll add the Nova Breaking Engine. Because they look like engines, don't they? Come on, they do. They look really smart. And then at the back here, we're going to add a radiator and then a wing. So add the wing to the radiator here. Boom. Looking good. Looking good. You can just go for the wing as well. You don't have to add, add the radiator. I just felt it gave it a bit more character. Looks good. Looking smart. I like that. So you can add a couple more wings um, in the middle as well if you want. A couple of the, the little Diddy Novatech wings. But... Looking looking smart now. This is nearly complete. So like I was saying, you can add some more Nova wings if you want. You can add them here at the top so you get to see them. Again, you don't you don't have to have them, but I think they look really smart. It just looks so aggressive. <laughs> Alright, let's add some more Nova Cowlins to the back. And this is nearly the back complete. So what we'll do now is we'll add some Tayo parts and some more cargo just to hide the wings and give their profile a better look. Don't want it looking too blocky. That's that's the goal with this ship. 
don't want it looking like a mess because the back of ships can look blocky. So we'll add some cargo here. Scroll along, we'll use the ballast one because it's tiny. Copy that bad boy across to here. That's the back done. That's the ship pretty much done. That is looking cool. Love it. This ship is looking more like a frog now, so I've given it a green color. I like the military green color. Maybe similar to a pelican off Halo, but go with whatever color theme you want. Obviously, you can go for like an Operation Desert Storm yellow or purple and green. It's completely your choice. Add the weapons. Like I always say, dealer's choice. Add the weapons that you want. Completely up to you, but this ship is now done. I have to admit, I think this one is better than the first one I did. The uh, the only ship you'll ever need. This is um, it's a very big ship. It's not as small as that one. It holds a lot of cargo. Only six crew members. Obviously, add more living quarters if you want more crew. But it's got a lot of firepower. It's armed to the teeth, and it just looks like a monster. But I'm going to call this one the Frog. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. It really does help the channel out. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So now I will leave you with an interior tour and some good tunes from White Bat Audio. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.